Hi, I'm Kimberly Simpson, Director of Communications for Sherman ISD. This is Bearcat Chat. And to help us kick off our first Bearcat Chat video series, it's Ms. Dolores Dow. She is the current principal of Fred Douglas Early Childhood Center, and she's going to talk to us about our upcoming pre-K, pre-registration application process. So Dolores, thank you for joining us on Bearcat Chat, and I want you to tell everyone how long you've been in Sherman ISD and what's the best part about you being principal. So this is my 16th year here in Sherman ISD. It is my ninth year here at Fred Douglas Early Childhood Center. Um, early childhood is my love. It brings me joy just to see the kids every day. And so it's a pleasure to come to work each and every day to, to new and exciting things with the little ones. And you know, it's just, it's just great to be here. So you're very active on social media. You're always posting the teaching and learning that goes on inside of these classrooms. Tell me, what are some of the benefits that you see um, with kids being enrolled in an early childhood program? So I think one of the best benefits is we are not only helping them um, with their academics, but with social and emotional. Um, many times. This is the first time that our littles have been around other children their age um, or that they have ever been somewhere other than just their homes. So there's lots of learning going on, um, teaching kids how to use their words instead of hitting. Um, you know, what can we do? How can we solve that problem? Um, you will see that in most every classroom. If there's an issue, instead of the teacher solving the problem, we're like, well, how can we work that out? Um, so I think the benefits of pre-K help us not only with that social and emotional, but also the academics and they're learning about school so that when they go to the elementary, they know what's expected. We, we have the pause behavior here and a lot of the elementaries also have that pause behavior so they're familiar with it. Awesome, so basically you're building that foundation for our students that really travel with them all throughout their school career and until they graduate. Now, I know you mentioned earlier when we were talking that you've seen kids come back and they, you know that they started at Fred Douglas and they've graduated and they've gone on. What does that mean to you? Tell me about that. So two years ago when we did the senior walk, um, the kids that had actually been to Fred Douglas left us with a big poster with their names on it. And we went outside to our flagpole and I had my cap and gown on and they had their caps and gowns on. And one of the students had on a white cap and gown. And I said, well, what does that mean? And she said, I'm in the top 10% of my class. Wow. And that just touched my heart because she started here in Head Start and she got that Head Start. And then she made great strides in her career in education and she was graduating the top 10% of the class. So that just made it more all worth it that what we do here matters. And we are building the foundation. We're like the building blocks uh, for, for, for f their future. I'm pretty sure we have tons of amazing stories like that within Sherman ISD, especially about our youngest learners growing up to be graduates. And it really tells a story about how we're building Bearcats. Now, um, one of the things that is happening next week is our early childhood pre-application registration process. I want you to tell us a little bit about that because that's important for parents to be able to put their kids in a pre-K program. So tell us what's gonna happen next week. Okay, so starting next Tuesday, that's April the 6th, um, we will have the online application up on the Sherman ISD website, and parents can either fill that out at home, or if they need help, they can come to the old Sherman High School cafeteria, and we will be there on Tuesday from 3.30 to 7.30, or we'll be there that following Saturday, April the 10th, from 9 to 1, to help them if they need help on the computer, if they can't do it on their phone, or if they don't have a computer at their house, we'll help them fill out the application. There's the first part, is the Sherman ISD part and the second part if they're applying for Head Start they will fill out that form. So it's really convenient because you can start that pre-application process online. You don't have to actually come up to a campus and fill it out. It can be done easily online. So we're going to put that website on our um, screen below. You should see it. It's shermanisd.net forward slash pre-k and the link and the information to the pre-application will be listed there along with all of the qualifications. And we're gonna talk about the qualifications. Okay. What are those? So 
to qualify for pre-K or Head Start, there, there are qualifying things. So first of all, you have to live within Sherman ISD. So on April the 14th, from 3.30 to 7.30 and April the 15th from 8 to 1, we will be back at the old high school in the cafeteria. That's when they're gonna bring up all their documents. So like their proof of residence, which is either a lease agreement, gas, water, or electric bill. Those are the things that we'll take. Uh, proof of income. So that can be their W-2 uh, from uh, 2020. Uh, it could bring two paychecks from everybody that works in the household for the last two months, um, but not in April. Um, also, they're going to need their shot records. Uh, if they are have TANF or SNAP, they need to bring their EDG number. If their child's on Medicaid, they'll need to bring their Medicaid. If they're in active military, there's a form for them to bring there. So they'll bring all those things, and then um, we will t copy all those things, get the information we need. Also, if their child speaks a language other than English, we need them to bring their child so that we can do some language testing because language is also a way to qualify for pre-K. That is very good information. So again, um, our pre-application process is going to start next week. It's going to open up on Tuesday, so you still have a little time. But if you need all of the information Dolores just gave us, go to our website at shermanisd.net forward slash pre-k and all the list of qualifications is listed on our website. Now, if you know someone that could benefit from receiving this information, share this link. Be sure that you let everyone know that Sherman ISD has the best early childhood programs and they really do benefit our children. So we are encouraging you to visit our website, get all the information so that your child or someone that you know that has a child can be informed and ready to apply next week. We thank you so much, Dolores, for joining us today and sharing your wealth of knowledge and being a great principal in Sherman ISD. Well, thank you for having me. All right. We have several different things that are going to be transitioning in our school year of 2021 and 2022. One of those things is the expansion of our early childhood programs to Parent Learning Center. It's going to transition to the Parent Early Childhood Center under the direction of Ms. Nancy Young. She is here today to tell us about what is up to come with our new Early Childhood Center. Hi, Nancy. Hi, thank, thank you, you for having me. Well, thank you for joining us on our Great. first Bearcat Chat. So the first thing is first, right now you are the current principal of yes. Jefferson Ever Elementary, yes. doing a wonderful job. Thank you. And next year you're transitioning to an early childhood center. Are you excited? I am so excited. This is going to be so fun. We have the staff, we have the energy, we have the excitement. We will soon have the kids. All right. So. Obviously, it's going to be a bit of a transition right. for you from elementary to early childhood. Right. But tell me about that because you have a little bit of experience. I do right? have experience in that area. I'm a career classroom teacher. Uh, the bulk of my teaching experiences were in third, fourth, and fifth grade classrooms, as well as special education and intervention. I was also an administrator for the early childhood wing within a campus previously in another district. And that is such an exciting place to be right at the jumping off part of kids learning at school. I love it all from meeting with parents, to being with classroom teachers, to knowing all the children. It's fun, it's exciting, and it's neat to be a part of something like that. Now, fun and exciting, those yes. are two words that really go hand in hand with yes. early childhood. Now, I know you've been in Great contact with Dolores Dow Absolutely. from Fred Douglas. You guys call yourselves sister campuses, yes. campus sisters. Yes. Um, yes. So tell me about that. I know that obviously it's going to be a new um, transition, right. a new campus, but with all of the same elements that yes. are included at Fred Douglas. So tell me about that partnership and what that's going to be like we for you guys. We are going to partner closely with Fred Douglas under uh, Miss Dow's direction. They have a great legacy of successful learning here. We will have the same classroom expectations, hallway expectations. We will actually do staff training together, staff development learning, both in person together and many virtual opportunities between both campuses with the staff, maybe after the kids have gone for the day. But we will continue to partner together so that all of our children benefit. Actually, some of my staff will be coming from Fred Douglas as well as other schools around the district and bringing, like I said, some energy and excitement. 
to open something new. We know that that beginning year is crucial in establishing relationships and great working environment for our children is going to be so important and we'll lean heavily on what Fred Douglas has been doing so successfully for years. So, you know, Dolores is really great about promoting what is going on on her campus. Yes. And she posted a photo of y'all's professional development yes. that you held together. Tell me about that. So, yes, we had our very first faculty gathering here at Fred Douglas with both the new parent staff and the new Fred Douglas staff. And there were some transitions um, between campuses and we welcomed staff from other campuses in the area, but we wanted to make sure our staff knew that we are going to start together and we're gonna to partner together all year long. We also shared with them that our community events that we do with our schools will alternate campus sites, but we are going to partner in the planning and the presentation and the attendance, all those things there won't be a matter of, well, this campus does this and that campus does that. We are united and we will all work hard on finding new and creative, fun and exciting things for our children to do. And that's really great to know based on the fact that although we are expanding to two yes. campuses, they will still offer the yes. absolute same thing. Yes. And that's really important for parents to understand. It is. It will not be a competition. We will partner together to provide really great experiences for all of our children. We know that sometimes families come back with the next child in the family. And so we will continue to build on our great experiences for all of our pre-K kids in the entire district. So we are expanding to two campuses yes. and that ultimately is going to benefit our children because they're gonna be able to switch to a full day of education and learning. Um, tell me about that. What, is, what does that mean for the child? Now kids will start their day of learning at 7.30 on both campuses and they will end at 3.05. Wow, that's a full a day. A full day. Our kids will come and eat breakfast together. They will have lunch together. We do become family within the classrooms. Um, we have learned this past year that some of our transitions walking from one classroom to the cafeteria waiting in line in the cafeteria, waiting in line to sit at our table. That was a challenge for our kids and we learned that it really does make for a better day of learning when the children can learn together in their classroom and eat their meals together as a family. Well, Nancy, thank you so much for thank joining you. us on our first Bearcat Chat. And what better way to start a Bearcat Chat than with Early Childhood Program. Absolutely. So I'm looking forward to you leading Parent you. Early Childhood Center. It's gonna be great and you're gonna do an awesome job. Thank you, I cannot wait. For more information about our Early Childhood Programs, be sure to visit our website. And now to help us explain a little bit more about our Head Start and Early Head Start programs we have within Sherman ISD, we have Miss Amy Hampton. Hi, Amy. Hi, how are you? Now tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, my name is Amy Hampton. I have worked for Region 10 for the Head Start Early Head Start programs for about eight and a half years now, and I really enjoy what I do. My, I do. Uh, my daughter graduated from Sherman High School in 2017. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, thank you for joining us on Bearcat Chat. Um, obviously, this is where we're going to give our parents a little bit more information about the wonderful programs that we have in early childhood, and a little bit what I want you to talk about is the Head Start and Early Head Start programs. Now tell me, what are the benefits of this program? Uh, the benefits of Head Start and Early Head Start are um, your child will receive a lot of school readiness opportunities. Um, families will receive uh, case management if needed. Um, they also, we offer a lot of family engagement opportunities where we try to get families involved doing fun things with their kids at school. Um, there's a lot of educational opportunities for the families also, like um, discipline and things like that. So there's a lot of really great benefits. That's wonderful. So um, what are the qualifications for the program? Can anyone just sign up or do is there an actual process to be a part of the program? There is an actual process. Um, in Early Head Start, we serve pregnant women and children up to 34 months and so that's the that's you have to be between those parameters to apply and then there are income guidelines that need to be met you must live in the Sherman ISD school district um, we also an automatic qualifier will be children who are considered homeless or in foster care 
Okay. And in Head Start, the children need to turn three before September 1st. In Head Start serves three and four year olds. They also have the same income guidelines that we do and the, the homeless and the foster care are also automatic qualifiers. Awesome, so tell me this, what are some of the positive outcomes a parent could expect from their child participating in the Early Head Start or Head Start programs? Um, main thing, the main thing we focus on is school readiness. Whether that means, you know, in Head Start, they focus a lot more on um, the alphabet and counting and doing a lot of those pre-reading and even some of the children are reading by the end of their Head Start career, um, really getting them ready for kindergarten. In early Head Start, it's a lot more focused on social emotional development and getting those kids ready by learning to control their emotions and self-regulate themselves um, and learning how to play in centers and things like that that get them ready for Head Start. So it all just kind of is a domino effect. So it's building that foundation, right, yes, with early childhood. Absolutely. And Sherman ISD, we're a leader in early childhood ed education. And so I know that these two programs are very beneficial and then coupled with our pre-K classes, um, it's really amazing, especially when you walk throughout the classrooms. You yes. can see the kids highly engaged, really being taught, and you can really notice the learning that's going yes. on. So anything else you would like to add about this program? Um, I just encourage people to apply. Um, we have fantastic teachers that are highly qualified in both programs. Um, the, there is a component to Early Head Start where it is home-based, and so if a family chooses that program, a teacher actually comes to their home and works with the family and the child in their home. And um, I just encourage uh, the people to apply. Uh, we're a great program, um, and it, it's a fun experience for the kids and the families. Okay, thank you so much for being mm -hmm. here. Thank you. And more information about our Early Head Start and Head Start programs is on our website at shermanisd.net forward slash pre-K. Thank you.